Are you looking at moving to Tyler, Texas and you want to know the good, the bad and the ugly? Then stick around because today I'm going to tell you my top five pros and my bottom five cons for living in Tyler, Texas. Howdy everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those new here, my name's Ronnie Withers and if you want to know what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep and play in the Tyler, Texas area, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give the notification bell a tiny little tap so you're the first to find out on any market updates to the Tyler area. Today I'm going to be going over the top five pros and cons of living in Tyler. I know how important that is. I've only just moved to Tyler a couple of months back and I know how important that is to research into making one of the biggest decisions of your life. So without further ado, here are the pros and cons. The first pro is that even though Tyler has around 100,000 people living here, it really feels like a small town. The people are really nice, they'll always help you, they're so polite, and it, just, it feels like a small town wherever you are. Even though I am in downtown Tyler right now, it does not feel like the downtown of a big city. There's a lot of parking, never really struggle to get around. People aren't rude, people are nice here. People say hello when you pass them. It, it feels like a small southern town. The great thing is you've got everything you could ever need from a big city, all packaged into Tyler, which is a small city with a tiny small town feel, which is amazing. You don't get the rudeness of a big city. You don't get all the negatives of the big city. Just an example, I've been stopped about three times since trying to film this YouTube video. I'm in downtown Tyler, it's only about two o'clock in the afternoon. And people have just been so nice. They've just wanted to know what I'm doing, just have a nice chat. And it's really nice to be in an area where people are really genuine and just care about your life. Now that actually moves us on to our first con, which is because Tyler feels like a small town and the population is rapidly growing, the road systems aren't really built for that amount of traffic. So we do at times get quite a lot of traffic around rush hour time. It's not awful and I don't notice it all the time, but if you are traveling, especially around downtown, uh, around rush hour work time, you are gonna have to have a little bit of a wait in traffic. And with that as well, I have noticed that the standard of driving isn't always the best in Tyler. It's not as bad as Kentucky where I was coming from, that was really bad. But the standard of driving, I think could be a little bit higher in Tyler. You will have some road rage. Even though Ty people from Tyler are really nice, it seems like when they get in their car, they can get a bit mean sometimes. You'll get a bit of road rage. You'll get some people tailing you. It's just not the best standard of driving. Not all the time, not everywhere. It's just a thing to note. The roadways here in Tyler are kind of built for a lot less people than what we've got at the moment. So that's why there's a bit of congestion and there's a little bit of traffic build up at certain times. Moving on to our next pro, which is the weather which it's pretty ironic because it's really cloudy today, but Tyler has on average 218 days of sun a year. Tyler is really hot in the summer and then it continues to stay hot until around November time. And then it has really mild, pretty cool winters, only a tiny bit of snow and it's not freezing for a lot of the months of the year, which personally for me is a pro because I love the heat. We also get all four seasons, so that's a good thing. It doesn't just go from blazing hot summer to winter and no in between. We do, it is fall at the moment, and I'm seeing the, the leaves on the trees change color, get a nice orangey brown, red color, and it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite times of the year. And we do get every season here in Tyler. This nicely brings us on to our next con, which is also the weather. Now, depending on who you ask, people are either gonna love the weather in Tyler or hate the weather in Tyler. Like I said, it got hot, it gets hot in the summer and some people hate that. It gets very hot and very humid at times and some people just hate sweating all the time. Also in Tyler, when it rains, it pours and we get a lot of flooding when it does pour. Also, along with that, we are in Tornado Alley here in East Texas. So tornadoes are something that we do have to worry about. That was a bit strange for me, coming from England, we don't really have tornadoes and we had one a couple of weeks back. So fortunately, they don't really ever hit Tyler directly. Normally it's a little bit north of Tyler, but that is just something to know and a slight worry to have. So the third pro of living in Tyler has got to be that cost of living. It is so, so cheap to live in Tyler. I've already done a video on this, so I'll link that. But what we do is we look at the cost of living index score. Uh, so we take an average town that has an average cost of living in all aspects, and we give that a score of 100. And now any town that has a score less than that is cheaper cost of living. Any town that has a score higher than that is a more expensive cost of living. So 
So Tyler is sitting at 82.8. That means it's so much less expensive than average and is just such a cheap place to live in general which is a massive pro of living here. Just a little side note, I am a licensed real estate agent here in Tyler. So if you are looking and interested in the Tyler move, go ahead, give me a call, give me a text or give me an email and we can figure out and we can sit down and we can get on a Zoom call and we can talk about exactly what you want. And I'd love to see what in the world I could do to get you your dream home. Because of our hot, humid summers and because of our location in the Southwest, that moves us on to the third con, which is the bugs and the creepy crawlies. That's definitely one thing I had to get used to, but we do have a lot of bugs here. We have a lot of things that fly, a lot of not very nice insects. We do have some snakes, we have some spiders, we have some scorpions. It's not as bad as out in West Texas, but we still do have them, and it is one thing to keep in mind. We also have a lot of big flying insects. So we've got the mosquitoes, we have grasshoppers, which I don't know if they fly, but they're pretty big and just a lot bigger than anywhere else I've been in the States. So that is one thing tonight. Note, if you don't like creepy crawlies, we do have them here in Tyler. That's just something you've either got to get over or consider on your move. Moving on to our fourth pro, which is gonna be the scenery and nature here in Tyler. So Tyler's sitting in East Texas. So the rolling hills of East Texas, which is absolutely beautiful. And within Tyler, you've got everything you could need around 30 minutes. So at the moment I'm walking down, it's called the Legacy Trail in uh, South Tyler, and it's near the crossing. Now this is about a two or three mile walk, and it is right outside of town. I'm actually just a two minute walk from my office, which is around over there. And it's, it's what I need. I love to walk, I love to go on hikes, I love being out in nature. And I know some places when you're in a big city, you're gonna have to drive around an hour to get what we have here and I'm really I feel really fortunate about that you'll definitely feel like when you're in Tyler that you drive 10 minutes down the street and you're surrounded by fields and anywhere where you could want to walk or hike we also have Tyler State Park where you can go for really big hikes if you'd like to also within Tyler there's there's a, a few big lakes as well I know you've got Lake Tyler and you've got Lake Palestine and no matter where you are in Tyler around 30 minutes from you so you can do whatever you'd like to do on a lake. You can go fishing, you can go boating, you can just go and relax, which is really nice to be that close to the lake and be in a city as well. That does bring us on to our fourth con though, which is because Tyler is a small city um, and everything is within a 30 minute drive, you haven't always got some of those big city amenities. But if you wanna go out partying, you wanna go out to the clubs, we haven't really got a, a clubbing scene like that in here. However, I will say, and my advice is we are only an hour, about an hour and a half away from Dallas. So anything you could ever need, whether you want to go see a Broadway play, whether you want to go out to the clubs, that's all in Dallas. So my advice would be live in Tyler. This cost of living, you get this beautiful scenery, but then you're only an hour and a half away from Dallas and you can always just drive there to satisfy your other needs. Also, as a little side note, we don't have any major league sports games really here in Tyler. So for that, you're going to have to go over to Dallas too. But like I said, only an hour and a half away. Also, we don't have a top golf. So if you want top golf, head on over to Dallas. I'm actually gonna move on to the fifth and final con first because I wanna end on a positive note. So the fifth con for me is that I've noticed some areas of town are a little bit run down and need a little bit of tender loving care. The city of Tyler do a really good job at putting a lot of work into South Tyler and making it look so amazing. I'm actually in South Tyler right now, which is where my office is. And it's an amazing part of town. Everything looks really new, loads of new businesses popping up. However, there are some areas of town you're just driving through and they just, they don't look really bad. They just look a little bit different to the, to the rest of the town. They look a little bit run down. The signs are a little bit sun bleached and they look like they could use just a little bit of care, revamp them a little bit. And it does matter. That's why I'm kind of, that's why I'm adding this as a con because when you're driving around, those small things do add up and in your head they seem like they're a big deal I know when my wife and I came for the first time to visit Tyler we drove around a certain area of town and kind of got a little bit discouraged because all the buildings looked like they were a little bit a little drab and like they need a little bit of care but then when you're driving around other areas it looks like an amazing place a new place to be like where I am right now there's new buildings everywhere there's new businesses popping up new build businesses all the way over there and in general it's an amazing place a couple areas could need a little bit of work and for the fifth and final pro of living in Tyler Texas is drum roll please 
the amazing selection of restaurants and places to eat. I have been so shocked since moving to Tyler how much choice there is on going out to eat. We don't really have Mexican food that much in England, so I was gobsmacked by the amount of amazing Tex-Mex food there is here. And they're not just chains. Yes, you've got your Chewies, you've got Taco Bell. I know that's, that's not really authentic Mexican. However, we have small little family-owned places to go out and eat, and they just serve the most amazing food for the best price as well. We've also got great barbecue food. We have pizza places, anything you could need. We've got a Whataburger, which as a non-native Texan, that was a big thing for me. There's just a huge selection, and I haven't even started scraping off my list of places I want to go to eat. I've got a long road ahead with me. I just want to eat out all the time now because of the amazing selection. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, my name is Ronnie. I'm a local real estate agent here in Tyler. I'd love to see what in the world I could do to help you. Go ahead and give me a call, text or email. I'll answer all of them and we can see how we can get you into your dream home. Until the next video, cheerio.